Hello, oh, it's the CRT man here, and long, basically long time no see for the LEGO computer because this is a seriously delayed video. Today is actually January 30, sorry, tonight is actually January 31st, 2014, and I have some updates for it from December 29th, 2013 to January 17th, 2013. I've just been really lazy with filming these LEGO computer videos, so lazy to the point where uh, pretty much it's kind of, it's gotten kind of dusty in certain areas. So you might notice, uh, the keyboard is in a slightly different place. And that's because, um, if you can kind of see this, the connector is right in the front now instead of on the side how it used to be. So, I found that to be more convenient than having it on the side. And, um, the mouse has stayed the same, hasn't changed since, like I said, about 2012 or so. Floppy disks have stayed the same. Speakers have stayed the same. And uh, the Lego light gun, I finally found the missing piece. It was in my mom's room. Actually, my mom found it, but, um, yeah, so, now I could shoot you again. Boom! But, uh, yeah, the other Lego game controller has stayed the same. And, uh, yeah, so you might be wondering, well, besides that front plug-in, for the computer, what changed? Well, once I unplug all this stuff, I'll show you. Unfortunately, it's only changes on the, on the LEGO CRT television slash monitor again. I hope these don't really bore you, but sometimes I just don't have any updates for the computer. So let's take this thing apart, maybe scooch it up for you, since I just wanted to show the whole thing. Unplug that, and I guess might as well just unplug it from the socket, which plugs usually end up breaking, but it's not that big a deal. Okay, and probably just move the actual computer out the way. So yeah, here's the LEGO CRT television slash monitor. See the knobs, the UHF and VHF knobs have stayed the same. The brightness knob has stayed the same. Power and volume knob has stayed the same. Here's a speaker grill. Here's the little 4 to 5 inch Lego cathode ray tube. Here's the back. Case hasn't really made any changes. Uh, except for the... I don't really like removing the this part of the cord anymore. So I'm just going to pretend it's this basically built in. Uh, here's the video connector. And now we're going to open it up. Revealing the... Uh, quote-unquote famous insides, which for some reason uh, it's not opening so well right now. Alright, it almost broke, but yeah, it's actually just about to break. Okay, so it might look kind of ridiculous, but the main update for the LEGO CRT television slash monitor was a new circuit board and a new uh, flyback transformer. Now you might be wondering, why did I do this? Well, I guess this, the old one was a little bit cluttery, and I don't know, I just like to switch it up sometimes. Just, like I said, just switch it up. So, we're going to discharge the LEGO CRT television, turning this normal screwdriver into a uh, high-voltage probe. So, yeah. Let me just get the video connector, which I'm just using as a probe-like thing, hook it up to the ground on the CRT television slash monitor, and then like, a, then like a real one, if this cord wasn't so tangled, like a real one, just discharge it, even though in real life it would pop off, it would actually make a pop sound for the discharging, and now it's discharged. Then I remove the LEGO CRT neck bore, which one of the Electron gun pinouts they actually got broken off, and they just put that back on there. And slide out the circuit board. So, the rest of the chat see has not made a change, but of course, the main part besides the tube has. So, here's the circuit board now. Uh, I want, what I really wanted to get at, I wanted to make the flyback transformer more external, more separate from the main part of the circuit board. Because I guess it just looked too thrown together if it was kind of just on there. If you've seen those vintage um, tube-type 
60s, early 70s sets. Usually the flyback transformers are actually covered by a metal box. But I'll get to that in a second. So here's the main circuit board. It's all solid state. You got your transistors, diodes, resistors, capacitors, a uh, couple transformers, like I said, more big capacitors, mostly these two. Uh, you know, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, the flyback transformer. Here's the anode connection. And you can open this metal cage up. And this reveal reveals the flyback transformer itself. So I still have that little black circular cylinder-like thing in there, but just more in there. So it's kind of hard to explain, but if you worked on tube sets like Shango 066, Radio TV, Phono Nut, uh, Abudan 5425, YouTubers like them will probably know what I'm talking about. But, um, yeah, here I still have the, um, what do you call that, the G2 control and the screen, uh, and the G2 screen control and the focus control, and, yeah. And then, when you're done, you can just close the, uh, uh boy, I'm getting a little confused here, close the cage back, and then, uh, put everything back together, which I guess I might as well just do right now. And see, recharge the tube, put it back on the CRT neck board, and the case, I mean, the chassis itself is pretty sturdy, doesn't break too easy like my old models, which always broke way too easily, especially in 2012 when it was a legitly a monitor. Um, and then close the case back, back in business. So there you have it, that's all the updates, and like I said, the connector for the keyboard is on the front now, for the computer, not the side, and um, nothing on the back has changed, So and nothing on the inside has changed. If you want to see the insides of the computer, check out the previous one. Um, so yeah, there you go, so thanks for watching.